The Triceratops is one of the most recognizable herbivores to ever have existed. It is best known for its trio of facial horns. These adornments are not just for display purposes. The brow horns in particular can inflict considerable damage to any dinosaur that dares to provoke it. Wow, okay. Where do I even begin with this one? This is really cool. This is our first ever species field guide. It's kind of like the species profiles we got in the first game. And wasn't Triceratops technically the first species profile in the first game? So it kind of makes sense to make him the first dinosaur. Like, uh, here's what I don't understand, like, right? In every game, in every Jurassic World slash park game I've ever played, Triceratops is usually, if not always, the first creature you unlock. For example, in Jurassic Park Builder, Triceratops is the first creature you ever hatch. In Jurassic World The Game, Triceratops is the first creature you ever hatch. In Evolution and Evolution 2, Triceratops is one of the first dinosaurs you ever hatch, and it's one of the first species profiles. Like, what is up with Triceratops being the first dinosaur to ever, you know, I, that that's what always confused me. Like, what was, what's up with that? I know it's like a fan favorite, but still, in Jurassic Park Builder and Jurassic World the game, Triceratops is one of the weakest creatures in the game. You know? Well, I don't know why they do that, you know? But, but yeah, I'm getting off topic. But yeah, let's uh, go into depth on this new species field guide. I wonder if they're gonna do this like once every week until, you know, the game comes out. But yeah, without further ado, let's get into it. All right, first things first, we have three classes of species. From left to right, you've got air, land, and marine. So I'm going to assume they might alternate between the three every now and then. And now that there's like an air and a marine faction, it's making me believe that there's going to be more than just the Pteranodon and the Mosasaurus. For pterosaurs, okay, I'm really hoping to see Dimorphodon, Quetzalcoatlus, Tapajara, Hatsogopteryx, Scaphogonathus, Rampharynchus, you know, all those different pterosaurs that were discovered, you know, throughout, throughout the years. And for marine, I would like to see creatures like Plesiosaurus, Ichthyosaurus, Megalodon, Ammonite, Dunkelosteus, Ocalon, you know, all those aquatic creatures, Lyopleurodon, those would be really cool to see. Yeah, but yeah, you know it's just like really cool that you have like aquatic creatures that were absent in the first game, and then you have the Pteranodon in the first game, but it wasn't really explored. So, I'm glad they're going more into depth on this game. So yeah, this species profile is obviously a land creature, you know, it's obviously the Triceratops, but let's go through some screenshots and see the Triceratops in action. Okay, so you can see the name of the Triceratops right off the bat, and it looks like they're in the Alpine biome, and you can tell, like, the Triceratops, it doesn't look too different from its first game counterpart. The only difference I would say is probably, you know, a different color scheme. That That's what I would go for, yeah. And then you got some Triceratops. You got one Triceratops walking in front of the other Triceratops. You got another lying down, and then you got another guy behind him, you know, looking after him, I guess. Making sure he doesn't do anything wrong, you know, just, you know. And uh, the, the pine trees absolutely gorgeous you know and the mountains too like they really i can tell that frontier put so much effort into this and i'm really excited to play around within this game and let me know if you want me to do a playthrough of this game you know 
that would be really cool because I really want to see these dinosaurs in action. You know, Jurassic World Evolution got, you know, the first game got really boring after a while, but I really hope this game has a lot to offer, you know, like a lot more to offer. And I could see like a feeder in the background and it doesn't look too different from its, um, from the first game, but it looks a little different. I, I guess, I don't know, I can't really tell, but yeah. Let's move on to the next screen. Over here, there's not really much to look at, except for the fact that some of the Triceratops may have a different skin. Like, there's one right in front of us, you know, just uh, drinking water, and then there's another in the background, you know, just grazing. And it looks really cool nonetheless. And it's like, there's really not much to say, but over here you've also got the pine trees and the mountains. Again, absolutely gorgeous. Like, my god, I, I'm really impressed with, I'm really impressed with this game. It's just absolutely gorgeous, you know? And it's a bit, the islands, they could get a bit boring after a while because, you know, they're kind of the same green, tropical, whatever. But here, like you got alpine and desert and only god knows what other biomes and it's it just brings a whole new color spectrum to the um to the franchise to the game anyway and it's it's really cool to see i know they tried with um return to jurassic park in the first game but it didn't really do much the redwood trees they were they looked nice but they didn't really but yeah, other than that, there's really nothing to see here, so I guess we'll move on to the next one. Okay, so over here, again, there's not really much to see, except for the fact that, like, there's a, um, a fence in the background. And, you know, it looks very different from its uh, first game counterpart. Has it always looked like that, or is that completely different? Because, I don't know, that I think that might be different from the first game. But other than that, there's really not much like the pine trees and the mountains and uh, and then you got one Triceratops in the foreground resting and another in the background that's also resting. But yeah, nothing really much to see here, so let's move on. Now this next screenshot is actually hand to the left from the last screenshot. And over here you can see a Triceratops in the background kind of just grazing. And then you see this Triceratops over here. You know, just, it looks like it's about to square off with somebody. Like, maybe, whether it's another Triceratops or whatever. But, yeah, it looks like it's about to square off with another Triceratops. And, uh, and you can see it's in its, like, defensive stance. And, you know, it, it looks... It looks really cool, you know? And I just, I can't get enough of the background. I just can't get enough of that Alpine background. It's absolutely gorgeous. I cannot wait to get into this game when it comes out. It's just, uh, let me know if you want me to do a playthrough of it. You know, just, uh, it really excites me. But yeah, let me know what you think of this species profile in the comment section down below. Are you excited for Jurassic World Evolution 2? Let me know in the comments. And yeah, that's gonna have to wrap it up for today's video. If you enjoyed it, be sure to leave a like and subscribe for more. It would really help out a ton. And if you can help me reach 50,000 subs, that would really help out a ton. And until next time, I will see you guys in the next video.